Welcome back. Captain Ron here. Uh, we're going to illustrate uh, another maneuver in the uh, pilot certification flight test. And this maneuver is, there's only one maneuver that the FAA designates as a performance maneuver. And a performance maneuver is doing a 360 degree turn in, in the left and then you do one to the right. Now the parameters here are plus or minus 100, 100 feet in altitude, plus or minus 10 miles per hour in airspeed. Now the, this is not a ground reference maneuver. In other words, you pick out a heading and you do, a, they call it a steep turn, for, to the left for instance, and if your heading is east to lead, uh, then you have to come out and level off and end that turn in the same direction, plus or minus 10 degrees. So those are the parameters. Now, they want you to do a 40 degree bank. Now the problem with this is, I don't know of any gyroplane that has a bank indicator, like an airplane. And you can only bank the gyroplane to a certain point. I can't tell you what that is. But the more you move the cyclic to the left for a left steep turn, the more you have to move the cyclic back. Otherwise, when you turn the gyroplane, in other words, we're doing a bank, a turn. And unlike an airplane, a gyroplane is a pendulum under there, where an airplane is all rigid and you can bank it with the wings. But a gyroplane, as you, as you go into a turn, you move the cyclic, say a right turn, you gotta bring the cyclic back, otherwise you'll fall off, your altitude will fall off. So you bring your cyclic back, add a lot of power, and you only reach that angle of bank to the point where you're gonna run out of airspeed, and you're gonna run out of altitude. Because the steeper the bank, the more back cyclic, and when you induced all that rotor drag, you're gonna slow your airspeed down. So, the point being is once you established and you're at the airspeed you desired, you just leave that bank angle in and come around. And then when you approach your starting point, then you roll out to a level flight. Same way with the left turn. You bring it back, you add power, you move the cyclic back to the left, keep the bank angle going. Watch the horizon. The horizon should stay in one spot. You don't have to look at the airspeed, you don't have to look at the altitude. You just watch that horizon and relative to the aircraft. If, if, if the nose comes up, you're gonna slow down. If the nose drops off the horizon, you're gonna end up increasing your airspeed and losing altitude. All right, thanks for watching and uh, let's go fly the maneuver. Okay, we've already uh, watched the illustration of the performance maneuver, which is a 360 degree turn to the left and one to the right. Uh, these, these are heading uh, turns, so they're not ground reference. Now we're going to take off here and then go over to the uh, practice area where we'll, we'll do the, we'll perform the uh, turn. Uh, couple of things to keep in mind you know uh, the check ride for your certificate uh, prior to that you've been flying solo you know you're not allowed to take a passenger with you unless you get your, unless you get a certificate well you know a gyroplane performs much different when you're solo as compared to having a passenger aboard so you want to make sure once you get your your CFI trained and prepared you for the flight check uh, you, that's and once he signs your logbook to take the flight check you have 60 days to do that flight check well I recommend you do it as soon as possible so you you you're familiar with uh, another person aboard because power settings are different uh, so you really need to fly uh, frequently and right before with a passenger, apparently, uh, with your CFI, that is. And uh, so you, you keep in mind the difference 
and having weight aboard and flying solo. So it's a beautiful day here. We're gonna we're gonna take off a little crosswind, but we're still good. There's the traffic. New yellow jet plane seven two four. Unit Foxtrot lining up waiting zero one for departure, Cersei. Cersei traffic 843 Alpha Mike is three miles to the east at uh, 2600. Yeah, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to depart the area to the east about a mile or two uh, to do some uh, maneuvering. We'll be watching. I'll execute the departure on the left downwind. Okay, here we go. Yeah, th this is an important check ride, so you want to make sure you you watch all the maneuvers. Uh, there's six of them. And this is a, uh, you know, you're going to be nervous doing this check ride. So you want to, that's why you want to kind of get, spend a little time, get to know the examiner. Fly with the examiner. Okay, we're good. There's your traffic sky, your jar plane on the go, zero one. Now it's a very cold day here, it's 55 degrees, so you know, your performance is going to be improved considerably as compared to a, a hot summer day. So, you know, you don't need as much throttle. So we're climbing at 500 feet a minute at probably 90% power. And another uh, thing you want to be aware of the examiner is going to be watching, uh, watching you, making sure that you're observing in the area, you know, for traffic and for birds. So you constantly want to be looking around. You don't want to stare uh, at one spot. You don't want to be looking at your instruments all the time. You want to kind of get a scan, you know, airspeed, altitude, and look around. Yeah, we're already at 900 feet, so we're going to make a turn down, crosswind and downwind, and then we're going to exit the run, the airport area to the east on a midfield left downwind. The airplanes, uh, you know, maneuver very tight spaces, so, so actually this is just one turn. There's your traffic, got a yellow airplane. We're uh, exiting, uh, departing the area to the east. There's your Now, you remember in the uh, illustration, as you you actually fly the rotors, and and you uh, when you tilt the rotor, the the rest of the you underneath the rotor, the fuselage and everything, it's kind of like a pendulum, so it'll sling you out in a turn. The centrifugal boss will sling the your the fuselage out. So it's no really way to tell. Uh, what angle of bank, they call them a steep turn. Most gyroplanes do not have instruments to, to detect that. And, and I'm going to make consistent circles because there's some things I want to explain and it's going to take a while, but when you're in the turn you have to establish your speed and your bank, your bank turn. Burn, you, you turn you're actually Turn the fly the cyclic, the disc. So we'll get away from the airport. There's another air, airplane in the area. And the, uh, the, the parameters, the tolerances on this maneuver, and most all maneuvers you're going to be doing it with a check ride is plus altitudes plus or minus 100 feet, air speeds plus or minus 10. But you, you want to make sure you don't chase the altitude and the airspeed. Because when you do, you're going to end up over-controlling the, uh, the aircraft. So keep that in mind. If it's a gusty, thermally day, uh, 
You may not even want to fly. Just tell the, the examiner, I don't, I'm not comfortable with this weather condition. And here again, that's good judgment. You're not going to fail it because you, you refuse to fly in a wind or a weather condition that you're not going to be comfortable with. All right, I'm going to establish my airspeed is going to enter it at 60. All right, I'm looking around. You don't do clearing turns in a gyroplane. You turn your head and you look, look around. All right, it's clear. I'm going to execute a left turn. Now, nice steep turn. Now, you may have to add some power. Uh, today it's cool, so I don't have to add a whole lot. Now, now I'm getting thermals here. Okay, you you actually use the horizon as a reference point, and the more you you more you bank it to the left in this case, the uh, the more you're going to have to pull the cyclic back, and when you pull the cyclic back. It's going to slow you down. Alpha Mike is two miles north, 30. You're going to slow the aircraft down. I'm down to five zero now, 50 miles. Away. I'm trying to bank it steep, and regardless of the power, uh, you're going to you're essentially getting on the backside of the power curve in this turn. So the the more aft cyclic, the slower you're going to go. So you just choose and feel it, and you'll do this when you practice it. And as long as you keep that horizon basically in the same plane all the way around, your altitude and your airspeed will stay the same. So, and, and you'll want to start a heading, uh, whether it be, it's easy to go north, south, east, or west heading, and then you roll out on that heading. Now we're going to do one to the right. We're getting some thermals here, but that's okay. Don't fight them. I'm going to bring it back, turn it, bank it to the right. Add power if you get slow. Now, to control your altitude, you adjust your throttle. See, right now, I'm doing 5050. The horizon's staying the same. I got a lot of power in because I'm going slow, but I'm still in the per, in the correct parameters to make the turn. So you control altitude with your throttle, and you control airspeed with the cycling. And you want to break out on your, your turn plus or minus 10 degrees. But don't look at an instrument. Just pick a, a highway or a landmark of some sort where you can break out and you're familiar with it once you're coming around and doing your 360. Okay, well I appreciate you flying with me and uh, look forward to you watching the next video. Thank you.